All right, I am here standing against a wall that's been spray foamed. And when going through the process for me to determine what the proper uh, insulation in the walls should be, I had a conversation and, and Chad Warden had, had said to me, well, here's the options, here's the things that you could do. And he had suggested spray foam. And the reason for spray foam was that there was a, there was a lot of advantages. Um, and what I wanted to do when he got me excited about that idea is I wanted to do it myself. And he goes, no, you don't want to. Number one, the equipment's too expensive. It doesn't make sense. If this is something you're going to do for a career, it's one thing. And I'll tell you, I'm glad I took his advice. Instead, we started looking at the difference between the types of foam, open and closed cell foam, and where to use it and why to use it and how it changes the dynamic of a building. But I got to tell you, if you're looking to insulate commercial building, residential building, doesn't matter what it is, this is absolutely something that I would recommend. And I'm really glad that we've done this now and made sure that our building is, is well insulated, very efficient, and without a doubt, the best option that I could have imagined to do our building in. So uh, that was a recommendation, recommendation from Chad and I appreciate it because he just flat out said, here's why to do it or here's why not to do it. And I absolutely don't do it myself because I love to do, do it myself and learn stuff but recognizing what that would have taken to do it myself, it would have been virtually impossible. So I'm really glad that he suggested what he did and the net result, uh, the, it's sensational. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it any other way for sure.